All right, legends, uh, what am I doing today? Well, most of you already know, I'm doing the second stage of the insulation. So on the R32 GDR, I have the first stage down. Um, it's looking super saucy. Um, and the wiring loom is set in place. And now I'm going to install this uh, second stage insulation all the way throughout. So it should come up really nicely. I'll spin the camera around and show you where I'm at right now before I start. And then I'll turn it into like a time lapse type sort of scenario. Um, I might break it down halfway through. Um, and I just wanted to uh, mention, if you haven't seen it already, I've got a S15 2JZ uh, build happening at the same time as this one. So on Tuesday, I took it for a, it was running really well beforehand, but I put some cams in it, if you didn't know, and I took it to the dyno again, and it made some really impressive numbers, especially for an S chassis. So uh, the numbers are over 600 horsepower, so check it out if you're interested. Um, it was a pretty scary and big day, um, but uh, let me know what you think on that as well. Anyway, I'll get to it, and uh, hope you like. And uh, here's where it's at just before I start. So you can see it's all laid in there. Super solid, super saucy, looking very sexy. Okay, first, um, first layers down. Uh, it comes up really nice. You can see it kind of, it molds around everything. Um, so all around here sits in really nice. Um, and then you go over with this, obviously. Um, nothing too drastic, not like this stuff here. Uh, turn it around and you just get in without sort of destroying the actual insulation. Um, but uh, very nice. Another layer. Mm -mm. She is looking beautiful. So the first half is done. It's looking pretty good. Still got um, obviously some more on there, a couple of little touch-ups. Then I'm gonna do this uh, rear part, but it's gonna be super comfortable because just by the look of it, it looks comfortable. Mm-mm. sneaky uh, little link g4 plus in there with a frenchie's performance garage uh, cover 
Then it's got some uh, masking tape on there to hold, uh, hide the uh, terminals um, while I'm working on it. Okay, um, so I guess the stage one of the stage two is complete. Um, I'm going to put the carpet in in a second, which is pretty cool. Um, but look at this. Thing just looks cozy. I'm going to sleep in here. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I'm going to run something along the side here because you have a whole bunch of holes. So I'll put the carpet in for now, see how it looks. Um, but I'm sure I'm going to have to fine tune a little bit of it still. But the bulk of it's been done and it's looking brilliant. And then the carpet, the carpet's in really good condition. Uh, I've given it a good vacuum and everything. What it does still have is it still has um, this horrible stuff on it. I'm going to lay it in there with that on and see if it sticks up too high and it's too puffy um, because in theory, this stage two stuff is replacing all of that padding that they put in there because um, this is much better. Look at it. Mm, mm, mm. So uh, actually, maybe if um, someone could uh, chime in and let us know, should I put the stage one on these wheel wells? and then put the stage two on? What do we all sort of think there? Um, I haven't touched them just yet. Do quite uh, like them nice and shiny, but they will be noisy. Um, and obviously the firewall cover is gonna come at some stage. Um, I haven't done anything around here, um, just cause I'm waiting for the painting uh, to get done. Even though the panels are straight, like I said before, um, I just want to wait until I do any insulation inside and on the front there until all the painting's been done. But very happy. I've just um, lifted all the wiring loom up so it's looking a little bit messy at the moment. Very happy. Quick little snippet. <laughs> oh. Good thing is, I, I'm having a meeting with the engine builder um, uh, next week. So um, all that's got to be built is the bottom half, which is the RB30. So that's going to be exciting. So I'll do a video on that explaining sort of uh, which direction I'm going with the RB30 bottom end. Oh, very happy with this. So I'm going to have to order some more. Um, I ordered three boxes of this. I've used two for inside here with a little bit left over. This is all I've got left over. Um, and I used one in the back of the S15. So if anyone's wanting to know, three boxes would do the GTR because what I used in the back of the S15, I could have done inside the boot there. Um, so uh, yeah. Happy days. And now the carpet's in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Complete. <laughs> so, carpet doesn't look that good on video, but it does look better in the garage, maybe because it's a bit darker. Um, original carpet, it does feel a bit tighter to get everything to sit right. Um, because now we've got like a lot of insulation underneath here and it's making everything quite tight. Definitely sits in everywhere, but that was one thing to notice that I might have to, in some spots, take out, if I feel like it, some of that uh, factory um, insulation. But we'll see. Might add to a bit more thicker coziness, to be honest. What does everyone reckon? Let me know. 
Um, cool, and I hope you like. I uh, hope you like the video. Um, give us some feedback, whatever you think. Happy days. Okay, so that wraps up um, this video. Uh, the stage two is not 100% complete, but it is going all the way up to halfway up the rear firewall. I will do another video on completing this and doing underneath the ceiling. I'll do stage one uh, on the parcel tray, um, and I will be doing um, probably two rear firewall covers. One small one, factory style one, and one that goes over the whole rear. Uh, and then I will be tidying up the wiring loom inside the boot. Uh, so I'll do all of that in one sort of video. Um, and that's also why I get together some of the other fuel components so I can uh, do that video on the whole entire fuel system. Uh, good thing about that is a couple of people have already sort of commented, which I really appreciate, on that they have used the hard line before and the connectors and everything. So um, like I said, say in all my videos, if you can sort of jump in and comment and stuff like that and give me any tips, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I guess this is kind of for me to learn um, and uh, see new things as well, you know, so... I appreciate all the feedback and I just want to say thanks to everybody at the moment as well um, because the channel's actually doing really well um, quite quickly so um, obviously um, I, well I would say that you guys are appreciating and liking what you see I'm um, sorry if some of it's boring I'm trying to um, just manage you know life at the same time uh, but what I would uh, really appreciate is if you are just watching if you could uh, subscribe like, comment, do any of that type of stuff because it really helps me be able to bring out uh, more and more videos and just help more people pretty much. Um, so word up, I really appreciate it if you could do something like that. Um, see you on the next video guys.